Oregon State is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. pick up a three. This safety is as vicious a player as you're going to find. He will make the tackle every single time. Fires quickly to the tight end. And they push him out around the 46-yard line. Just another weapon for this offense. He's got good hands, and he's tough to bring down. He showed right there that he can make something big happen. Some open field. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. Knocked out of bounds at the 27 yard line. Gains his way to the 16 yard line. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. The 10. Touchdown, Oregon! He is such a talented, skillful back, as you saw right there. What makes them even better is that these coaches know how to use them. He makes the PAT. A five-play, 77-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running team. The score now, 7-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance, and they can forget about returning this one. Oregon State's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Right over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a team six on the from their own 31-yard line. Second down. Brought down around the 41-yard line. Number 48 brings him down to the 41-yard line. First down. They make the stop, the 37-yard line. So they end up with a loss after calling the draw. He started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. From their own 37-yard line, second down. The handback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. complete and he's got space to work they'll bring him down at the 46 yard line number 13 makes the tackle at the 46 yard line that makes it first and 10. first and 10 ball on the 46 yard line On play action. He throws it. Oh, great catch. And he's taken down at the 24. Number 48 on the tentacle at the 24-yard line. 
first, first down. down. From the 24-yard line, first down. Hey, alert 48. Red two, X, go. Quick pass, and he's immediately tackled. Game seven on the play. That'll bring up second. This is the eighth play of this drive. He is drilled at the 17-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He's taken down around the 22-yard line. Really nice play by the defensive lineman. I like this guy's size and instincts. Kick is up, and it splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now, I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there when they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. Oregon is up by four. He scrambled. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. That is a loss of three yards. That brings up second and 13. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. Caught, open field. Tackle right around the 46 yard line. position to score. Oregon holds a four-point lead. Now he's scrambling. Touchdown, Ducks! And he hits the PAT. First quarter of action. Oregon's in front by 11.
The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he's level at the 28. Second down and seven. Ball on the 28-yard line. Black five, black five. Go. Yellow three. Black. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. Number 22 brings him down at the 38-yard line. Four down, four down. First down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, come on, Mike, 48. Right now, let's go. Red two and go. seven. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a game five on the play. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 43 yard line. Four down, four down. Hey, alert 48. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Call it a game of five yards. That'll make it third and one. And he tackles him hard at the 44. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's pushed out of bounds at the 14-yard line. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. First down and 10 to go after the big gain on the run. Black five! Black five! Black five. Tailback brought down for a loss. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And he hits him hard at the 22 yard line. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. Across the middle, caught it, touchdown! A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. on the extra point. A nine-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So the score now, 14-10. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Oregon is up four. Line. 
Rolls down the catch, and he's got room here. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. to his receiver. Brought down at the 26. Gets it out quickly. And they make the stop at the 20-yard line. Six-yard pickup. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. Here we go. He's scrambling. He gets sacked on the play.20-yard line. He was lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage on that scramble. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Oregon is up by four. He gets it up, and he's got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Beavers quarterback, Kirk, he has done his job. Unfortunately, there's 22 guys on a team, and one guy's doing a great job. The other 21 aren't so much. Yeah, it's not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned. Right now, you're right. The quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball. But uh, the running backs, the wide receivers, the offensive line, the entire group, they've got to do a better job right now. When you look at that scoreboard, they've got to be really frustrated to think that they're down. Now, they still have time to get back in the game, and we'll see if they can adjust their mental exactly mindset. Exactly. Quarterback stats are one thing. Winning the game is what's more important. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 29. Blue four. Blue four. And he's taken down at the 34. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow three. And he can't get away from the pressure. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. And this one is a beauty. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 38. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Oregon is up by a touchdown. Fires out quickly to the tailback. We played a half of football here. The Ducks with a touchdown lead. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half. And you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of. And, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week. 
and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Quick throw to the tight end. Knocked out of bounds around the 28-yard line. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 28. Go ahead, two, three, nine. Motion, 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 motion. Go. And he's tackled right away. That's a deal of 12 on the play. First down. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. From midfield. First down. Red two. Green nine. Green nine. Motion me out. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. To the 20. To the 10. And they finally knock him out at the nine yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. A touchdown away from a tie. Check tight right, tight right, tight right. Pull out there, check the outs out there. I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. He makes it to the six-yard line. The ball's on the six-yard line, and we've got third and goal. and he's got his man. And so he found his receiver for the score. And the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Up the middle for a nice game. Three yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That, that brings up second and nine. nine. Let's go! Patriot! Patriot! Patriot. Motion, motion, motion! 98! 
gains his way to the 49-yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. He didn't get much, but he got enough for the first down. Well, that's really all they wanted there was to pick up the first down and get a fresh set of downs and continue to move the ball downfield. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here we go. He's at the 30, gets out to around the 28. He's at the 20, inside the 10. He's all the way, touchdown! That was simply sensational running, and it shows you what kinds of major things can happen when you have a good ground game. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays. And it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play can win this game. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. It's the tailback. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. That's a deep That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 26. Green nine, green nine. Green. Caught and he's hit immediately. for the first and he stops. He puts it away and it's a great kick. You hope that a lane or two will open up and give you some space to work with. But that never happened on this kick. You always hope for that extra contribution from your special teams to take some of the burden off your offense. They've already shown the ability to move the ball, and that's what they're going to have to do again here. Here he goes. He's tackled at about the 41. Oregon up seven points. Makes it out to about the 49. That's a deep 10. That'll make it second and inches. Let's go! Easy, easy, easy! 
He's at the 40. Tackle made at the 36. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question, when you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. Slides down. Seven-yard pickup on the scramble by the quarterback. Passes it to the middle of the field, and he's tackled at the 19. So at the end of the third quarter, Oregon leads 24-17. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Has some daylight. The five. Oh. It's on a move. Touchdown. Puts him in the driver's seat right now offensively. The question is, can the defense hold on here in the fourth quarter? And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. Tackle at the 41. From their own 41 yard line. It's first down. Green eye, green eye. Go. That'll make it second and four. Six-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He fights forward to about the 43. That makes it second and six. pass and he's level at the 31 yard line from the 31 yard line first down here they come brought down at the 20. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. And they make the stop around the nine-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's knocked out of bounds at the 13.
from the 13-yard line. Second down, just under three to go in regulation. Gets to about the 11-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. This is the 10th play of this drive. That's a great tackle at the 18-yard line. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. That's TD pass number three. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Oregon State to kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Scrambling around. Bumba! Scoops it up. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover bug. They need to hold on to the football. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Dumps it out left to the running back. He gets hit out of bounds around the 17-yard line. Gain of 18 yards. First down. From the 17-yard line, first down. Three down, three down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And this one's broken up. If you can get a hand up at the line of scrimmage on every pass, you'll really make it tough on a quarterback to find his rhythm back in the pocket. The 10. Touchdown, Oregon State.
There's They'll line up for the extra game. point in an attempt to tie the game. Looks like they didn't get Delay the playoff the quick enough. Offense. Just under two to go in the game. And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Throws it out right to the running back. They'll bring him down to the 33-yard line. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. And he's taken down around the 38-yard line. He's taken down right around the 46-yard line. it fly and it's caught he's tackled at the 10 now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass run up the middle. That'll bring up second and three. Check nine, check nine. Ready! Red 68! Red hot! Touchdown, Ducks! Splits the uprights with the extra point. Here we go. They'll need lightning to strike on this return. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. They're two for two in finding the end zone on their last two drives. Let's see how they do here. If you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. For all of you watching, it's been a great game, and it has a chance to be even greater. Will the prayer be answered? It's time for the Hail Mary. He wants it all going long. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 38-31, Ducks. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action in this one? Oregon came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.